time to talk business with Nona Peltier, who's joined me in the studio. Nona, so you've got a lot of papers, so there must be a lot going on in business today. So data, a lot of data released today that paints a picture of how the economy is doing. So what can you reveal to us? Well, it's kind of, it's, it's fairly mixed, Okay. I mean, on one hand, I think we'll just start with the gloomy stuff first. How's that sound? Okay, let's get okay, the bad news so out of the way. A couple of surveys from the ANZ. Uh, one of them is a preliminary survey of business confidence. So it's the first week of June. Normally, we would have a whole month, but because uh, of just the dynamic nature of what's going on in the economy, they've been releasing a preliminary uh, report. And what they've shown is that we've had a slight uptick in uh, confidence amongst business, but it's still really quite gloomy numbers. Uh, when we compare the numbers, say, to our 10-year average, uh, it really does paint a picture of, you know, the headline confidence, which is the overall, is a, a net 33% Da um, down so uh, net sorry net 33 percent feel uh, negative about the economy and that compared with uh 42 percent at the end of may so slightly better but when you compare it to say the 10-year average uh it was a 9.7 percent positive so people are usually more positive than they are now and and then but overall i'm not going to go through all the numbers but it showed that people were going to employ businesses were going to employ fewer people they were facing lower profits and they were just going to invest a whole lot less in their business at the moment. Now, this could turn around because we're now in level one and this is... Level two. I'm oh, sorry. Data, isn't it? Yeah, that, this that... is right. That's right. Yeah, level two data. So because we just moved into level yeah. one. So this is from the first week of June. And I guess a lot of people were just never believing this was going to happen. So we'll see what happens. But Sharon Zollner, who's the chief um, economist at the ANZ, said it's great that people feel they can go into restaurants again and sit down and hang out with their friends and, and sit closely, dance and what have you. But will they spend money? That's a different question. And one of the other surveys she released today was this thing called the trichometer, which actually she, and she developed. And it shows how the economy is shaping up from right now and into six months into the future. And so right now, heavy traffic is returned. So freight movements, basically. That's right, and big trucks. Yeah. And that, that picked up when they were allowed to start moving again. So that's a, last month a 7.8% improvement. Uh, well, actually, 7.8% down on the year earlier. But that's still pretty much an improvement on where we had been with that because um, when you think about heavy truck movement, there was nothing really going on in level four. Now, normally the light the light traffic, so that's cars, people going places, that's usually an indication of how we go six months ahead, but really there were hardly any cars in May. So they're going to leave that one aside because overall it showed that um, that traffic index was down... 37%. As you would expect, because it was unprecedented. So gloomy, but not necessarily terrible. And and better than it was before. Very quickly, can you tell us a bit about Infratil raising 300 million bucks? Or so you've got something before else before I do that. that? I just want to start off with some good stuff. Okay. Um, this was the good stuff. Uh, the um, wholesalers that distribute to grocery stores had their best quarter ever, an increase of 4.1% to $354 million. And that was things like toilet paper and tobacco products and alcohol and you name it, flour, all sorts of things that we talked about before, really helped out the wholesale business. And interestingly, kiwi fruit, uh, the golden kind, gave an enormous boost to fruit exports. It rose 100, uh, sorry, 54% to $115 million. Well, there I'm still all for the old style green ones. Well, but anyway. The golden was golden. That's all I can say. Okay, very quickly, Infratil. Infratil, we, Infratil is a company that owns all sorts of things, including Vodafone, stakes in um, Wellington Airport, uh, Trust Power. Oh my goodness, the list goes on and on. They're raising $300 million because they see lots of opportunities to go shopping and invest more in their businesses. Also very positive. Okay, yeah. let's take a gallop around the market. All right, that's okay. We'll get onto that right away. Uh, the index fell 2% today. Now, that sounds terrible, but really there's a lot of profit takers in the market who can say exactly why that was the case. 224, 225 points down to 11,299. Now, the story is really around the currency. Uh, we were at 64. 
5.4 at the end of the day, but we went as high as 65.8, which is really the best since January. And uh, against the Australian, 93.6 and 51.5. Sorry I sounded so rushed, but there was so much to say. Exactly. Thanks, Nona, with all our business numbers and news.